I hope you can see me really good. Uh, if not, I'm so sorry. Uh, but today we are going to talk about all the must-have jackets and coats for petite women in fall, autumn time, but also kind of to the winter, more cold weather as well. We are going to start with transitional kind of jackets from summer to fall, which by the way, in Spain, I can still not wear them. It's still so, so, so hot up to like really freezing cold kind of jackets and coats uh if you like these type of videos hit it a like subscribe and comment down below let's create the biggest petite community there is with the best women in the world and without further ado let's get into the video i just put really something really neutral on so you can see all the jackets really perfectly Let's start with the first one, denim jacket. Denim jackets are great for anything. If you live where the summer is not so hot, you can wear it in the summertime. In Latvia, I wore it in summer as well. You can wear it in the springtime above the dresses, with skirt, with joggers, with everything. Like just, I love a good denim jacket. And this denim jacket is really petite friendly as well. All the links will be down below as always, so check them out. The next one that I got last year and I wore it so many times already, it's this tweed jacket that I got for like, like a bargain. But it just gives all the Chanel vibes and when it appeared in the trends, I knew that for me it's not going to be a trend, that for me it's going to be a staple piece. It's just amazing, especially for fall when you go more for maybe neutrals, more black tones, then this just gives like that looks like an accent on it the one you need yeah really loving this one i cannot imagine fall without a good leather jacket obviously it's fall leather jacket as well by the way and i don't really buy expensive leather jackets i just have realized that there's no point i know that zara have really good ones however i just don't manage to find a good one in zara for myself like a other for petty or the design that I love and I go to Pimki. My last two jackets have been from Pimki and they always survive like five, six years. And I need a new one. This has been already five, six years, I think. And it starts to just rip a little bit like the leather itself. But in general, I don't I cannot imagine my wardrobe without a leather jacket. The next one, we all need a good blazer. Uh, either it's a monochromatic beige one, it's more casual, more business one. It depends on what your daily routine is. And by the way, I also offer petite styling now on online. And the first call is free. That's just discovery call, understand what you need. I will make all the notes and then for the next one, then the real stuff starts. So if you want to schedule that call, let me know. There's the link where you can schedule it. Um, but I have this like Emily in Paris kind of inspired blazer that I'm really obsessed with as well. It's much more softer than the tweed one. And I don't know if it's still called tweed or plaid, I don't know. But it's, this one is really soft to be quite honest. I just realized that one of the must have staples for fall when we talk about jackets and coats is the leather jacket. But the other one is a trench coat. <laughs> That's another thing I cannot imagine. If you don't have it, I don't know how you can survive without it. I cannot. This is the trench coat that I have. Again, petite friendly, petite sizing, really great quality Korean fashion. Now let's go to something more freezy, cold, wintry kind of vibes. Puffer jacket. I got this for such a bargain last year. It was 20 something euros or even less. I don't know. It was really a bargain on Zalando from only, again, petite size. And I bought pink because it, I bought it mostly for like, if I go to the mountains, if I go to see a snow. I, I cannot say skiing because I don't, I, have, I don't ever go skiing. <laughs> Maybe it's just the north. Turn skiing, I think it's called. That one I love, but the mountain one, no, no, no. So I cannot say, I just always like, how do I say to watch the snow? Because that's usually where, why I go to this to the mountain to just watch the snow. And uh, yeah, I bargain. Amazing. I actually love that it's a little bit uh, bigger because that means I can put weird like a sweater underneath and 
it's like really really cold but it's really nice i love it and then from mango another bargain that i got is this wool coat coat like just gives such an elegant vibe and this is from i said it's from mango i don't remember from mango for 50 euros i think and i bought it for like 20 something like that and the only bad thing is it only has one button it doesn't really i would love it to have like here some button but that's why i have like a big 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 chunky scarf that i always put on just to protect my neck and i usually wear turtlenecks it looks really not like fancy with a turtleneck on but this is amazing because even with my flats which i obviously will not wear in winter time it's just too cold even in spain last but not least it's a winter jacket i get another bargain to be quite honest i don't know how i succeed but i got such a good bargain lately this was for 27 euros from Holst holster i think it's called the brand holster yes california 27 euros it's still there check the links it works in europe the link it's so soft and it has been like trending for a few years but it's like another just for me it's just another piece that you can like it's soft it's comfortable but it's also a kind of elegant it kind of also gives like really strong female vibe but in like the best feminine way not like masculine way it just gives like really like i don't know structure to your whole outfit and i just i'm so obsessed with it so 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 stunning it feels like a titty, kind of. It's so, so, so soft. These are the essentials for my autumn, fall and winter and winter wardrobe when it comes to jackets and coats. Let me know what your essentials are and if I miss something. And also what video I should do next. Maybe you have some suggestions. Maybe you want some styling videos. Whatever it is, just feel free. And I hope to see you next time. There's just no other options for you. And if you have watched so far, you deserve a cookie. And get yourself some treat if you watched until this time. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching and see you guys next time. Bye!